Hey Jason, Hollis Farms this morning. That old Dodge in the house with me. Y'all see that I got the feather light hooked up to the 16 Dodge. Got the four wheeler in here with some corn. Get back over and lay down, Dodge. Oh. What I got going on right now is I gotta run over to Mississippi. Dodge, get down. Get down. You don't need none of that camera. And I got to uh, put some corn out. Then when I get done with that, I gotta go further on into Mississippi and we're gonna test drive a new mule that I'm thinking about buying. A buddy of mine got over there uh, last night that they're gonna let us try and see if we want it. So, Dodge, you a mess this morning. All right, we'll be back. All right, one more thing. Y'all will be proud of me today. I grabbed me a bottle of water. I'm hungry. Grabbed me three snack sticks. Just for everybody's information, I'm down five pounds from where I started. I'm on a mission. It's gonna be hard till it warms up, and I'm gonna work on it. I'll see Dodge sitting over here. You better stay back. Eat these snack sticks. I got one beast left. There you go. I've been sharing them with him. He does good. He'll sit over and wait on him a bite. I believe the hogs has found this spot. Been getting some pictures. I forgot my batteries. We're gonna freshen it up though. Keep them here. All right, we got the corn out. Got filled up with fuel. We're going mule shopping now. So here's what's going on now. I got over to my buddy's house that had the mule, and he had the mule on trial for a day or two just to see if we liked her. And he pulled her out of the stall, and pretty little old mule got her out there in front of the barn, and I was getting ready to kind of get my camera out, and we was going to try out and play with her. And he reached down to pick up her left foot, and she come up, in the back and cow kicked him right in the face oh busted his mouth up pretty good had to call his wife and come over there and carry him to the hospital to get him sewed up it's, it's not real bad it's just right there in his lip and it poked a hole smooth through his lip didn't knock any teeth out or anything and he was bleeding pretty bad. We got it slowed down uh, to where it wasn't hardly bleeding anymore. Like to knock him out. I had to grab the mule. I throwed her in the barn and grabbed him. Got hold of his wife and got her over there. But for y'all that had never fooled with a mule, you can. If you're standing right behind them, they can be looking straight ahead and they can see you. They can see all four feet looking straight ahead. And you can be up there fooling with their saddle with the front cinch where the stirrup is and they can kick you. I've had it happen before. I love a mule. I love a good mule. But I ain't nothing no worse than a bad mule. If you get a good one, you got a, got a good one for life. But when you get a hold to one like that, Oh, uh, I was thinking about going ahead and bringing her on home, and most things I'll try to fix, and my buddy's wife said, you carry her back where she came from, and she was right. If that had been Cody, we'd have shot the mule, and I ain't sure my buddy might not shoot her when he gets home, but... It's just one of them things we've dealt with them a lot and he had picked her feet up and played with her all yesterday evening and uh, nothing I, I don't know it's just but when one starts that right there you can break them you don't they're not treated in the nicest way and a lot of times like that if I was to bring her home 
and me fix it and break her, she still might do it to somebody else. So, didn't need to take that chance with Cody for sure. I have been hard-headed sometimes and brought him home and I'm always nervous like that around Cody and I ain't got time for that. So, we drove about an hour and a half pulling this trailer basically for nothing, but, you know, that's part of it. We go through a bunch of mules selling them and trading them and stuff and I hate it happened. I wish it had happened to me instead of my buddy, but kind of glad it happened before we paid for it. We did. This fellow we bought her from, we bought a ton of mules from him and we completely trust him. He just happened up on this mule a couple of days ago. It's not his fault at all. He didn't he didn't know anything about this part of it. So sometimes it takes swapping hands a time or two for things like this to come out, but glad it came out before it ended up on a customer or something. Anyway, I'm headed back to Alabama without a mule. Alright, so I stopped and got me a little snack. I know I don't need it, just a lot of ride. Y'all ever had any of these Zaps potato chips? Them things are good. You just can't find them everywhere around here. They show good. Alright, this trailer here, I've had this Exus trailer. I've had it for quite some time. It's got a little tack room in it. Hadn't hardly ever used it. Really hadn't used it at all. I just brought it home. Got a real good deal on it. Needs tires. It came with two new tires on wheels. Got to get them two put on and get two new ones. I'm going to go over the bearings and the lights and I think the brakes are hung up. I may convert this trailer to to use it for hog hunting some too because I like the little tack room and throw a bunch of junk up in there and then be able to use it for the horses and mules also but I'm gonna run to town and also my 16 Dodge on the way in a while ago a check engine light come on so I'm gonna get them to pull a code on that and see what's going on with that. This trailer is gonna be pretty handy to hog hunt off of it. Dang, I guess the people that used to have it for my buddy got it must have had a wagon and stuff. It's got this ramp on the back. A lot of horse trailers do now, but it'll be handy for the ranger. See my check engine light came on. You're gonna see what that's all about. I thought the brakes were locked up on this trailer when I got it. I've had that thing sitting there for a year or better, but I just tested them. They're working. Lights is working, so we're pretty much gonna be good to go with some new rubber. All right, I got the horse trailer dropped off and we hooked the computer up to the Dodge and some kind of code about DEF or some kind of mess, but we ain't got that no more on this truck. So we cleared it and we'll see how long it stays off and see if we'll be all right. All right, so my buddy called me back. He got home from the doctor. Had to put a bunch of stitches in his lip. Said they gotta stay in there a week or so. He's sending the mule back where it came from. So we ain't got to worry about that no more. It's old hay right here that I clean up from the deer pens every day that kind of waste to them. These mules will walk right through it. So it ain't no waste. All right, y'all got everything fed. Getting close to dark. Finna call it a day. Y'all like our stuff, subscribe to us. Hollis Farms. Appreciate y'all watching. 
out of here.